Have you ever pondered the riveting birth and evolution of the captivating tales of King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table? These irresistible narratives, universally acclaimed as the Arthurian romances, are deeply rooted in the vibrant world of Celtic mythology. Born under the lush skies and within the emerald fields of regions like Ireland and the Isle of Man, they were initially fundamental to a strong oral tradition, handed handed down from one generation to the next. Intriguingly, these stories initially came to life in intimate settings such as firesides, community gatherings and grand feasts, before finally being etched onto papyrus scrolls and manuscripts. The British Isles, steeped in cultural heritage and esteemed for their poetic legacy, acted as a vital crucible for the birth of these legendary tales. Here, these chronicles of courage, desire and honour embarked on a monumental journey towards the continent. This notable passage was facilitated by the migration, the Bretons, who carried with them the precious cargo of their treasured tales and fond memories. As these narratives traversed across various lands, they absorbed the diverse cultural, historical and social influences of their surrounding environment, akin to a river gathering tributaries on its course towards the sea. Upon reaching the continent, these Arthurian romances underwent a transformative evolution, deeply influenced by the profound effect of local folklore, religious beliefs and the grand medieval epics. Local folklore, folklore filled with tales of rural life, superstitions and moral teachings, rooted the narratives with a sense of familiarity and tradition. Religious norms, deeply entrenched in Christian doctrine and ethical teachings, infused the tales with a spiritual undertone, often serving as the moral compass guiding the knight's quests and actions. Medieval epics, grand depictions, bravery and sacrifice added a layer of drama and grandeur to the narratives. Initially, these stories resonated in verse, reflecting the unique rhythmic undertones of the Celtic oral tradition. However, much like a river that changes its course over time, they gradually transformed into prose, their intertwined themes and complex plotlines, forming the intricate narrative tapestry famously known as the Matter of Rome, France and Britain. These sagas, elegantly interlaced with the ideals of chivalry, bravery and courtly love, continue to captivate us with their timeless charm. Whether articulated verse or prose, set against the rustic backdrop of the British landscape or amidst the vibrant, bustling cities of the continent, the Arthurian romances stand as a powerful testament to the enduring strength of storytelling, its unique ability to transcend boundaries and time, and its significant potential to shape and influence societies even today. The tales we recount today are a testament to the legendary knights distinguished for their epitome of a sophisticated code of behaviour. So what exactly is this celebrated code? As we unearth the answer, we plunge into, into the heart of the code of chivalry. This code, more than just a set of guidelines, lays the foundation of the Arthurian romances. It provides a well-defined charter that dictates the way knights were supposed to carry themselves. This shining beacon of ideals, the high watermark that knights aspire to reach, is a crucial component of the Arthurian narrative. But to truly understand the chivalric code, we have to break it down into its fundamental values, loyalty, honor, and courtly love. These pillars stand for an unwavering allegiance to one's lord, one's purpose, and one's brotherhood of knights. The knights depicted in these tales are the embodiment of fidelity, dedication unwavering even when confronted with the harshest of trials. Let's probe further into this. Loyalty in the chivalric code far surpasses simple allegiance. It signifies a deep, unbreakable bond that ties a knight to his duty, his kingdom and the citizens he has pledged to safeguard. Loyalty in this context is a double-edged sword. It demands the ultimate sacrifice, even life itself, in, in the service of one's lord and country. Moving on to honour, this is a deeply rooted sense of righteousness, the moral compass that directs a knight's actions. Honour in the Arthurian romances, personal reputation or recognition. It underscores virtues such as righteousness, integrity and the preservation of one's self-respect and esteem. To elaborate, an honourable knight is bound by the code to always tread the path of righteousness, even if it brings him face to face with adversities. They do not not yearn for recognition or personal glory, 
but tirelessly endeavour to uphold the values they treasure, irrespective of the trials they are thrust into. Lastly, we explore courtly love, a complex and intricate concept that permeates these tales. It evolves beyond mere romantic love, although that certainly forms a part of it. Courtly love signifies a knight's reverence for a lady, a demonstration that goes beyond physical attraction. It's a noble form of love, encompassing respect, admiration, and a deep-rooted sense of duty. In the Arthurian narratives, courtly love translates to a knight's devotion to a noblewoman, often his lord's wife or a lady unreachable due to her social rank. This deep-felt respect and admiration, devoid of sensual desires, desires is often expressed through poetry, songs and courageous acts. It's an exalted form of love that mirrors the knight's profound sense of duty, honour and respect. In sum, when, when we dissect the code of chivalry in Arthurian romances, we're essentially studying a set of values and principles that dictate a knight's conduct. This code governs their actions, choices and relationships. It sets a rigorous standard for all knights, acting as a moral compass their actions. The chivalric code is the backbone of the Arthurian romances, setting a towering standard that all knights strive to achieve. It serves as the reference point against which their actions and decisions are measured, thus playing a crucial role in shaping the narrative. This code, therefore, is the heart and soul of the knightly tales of Arthurian romances. The Arthurian romances are far more than just tales of chivalry and courtly manners. They unfold enchanting tales of romance and adventure, each one a richly, richly textured tapestry of heroism, love and high-spirited exploits. Each story provides a deeper glimpse into the ideals of the chivalric code, weaving narratives of knights embarking on quests imbued with danger, mystery and intrigue. These are not just missions for honour and glory. They are complex journeys of self-discovery, where the lines between duty and desire often blur. Take, for instance, the gripping adventures of Sir Lancelot. As the most courageous and celebrated knight of the Round Table, his tales are a potent mix of courage, virtue and a veiled love for Queen Guinevere. This clandestine affair adds a layer of raw emotion and tantalising enthrallment to his heroic exploits, weaving an intricate tapestry of love, love, duty and honour. His tale dives into the complexities of maintaining personal affections while upholding the knightly code. Next, we have the illustrious Sir Galahad, the epitome of purity and spiritual perfection. His relentless quest for the Holy Grail stands as a testament to his unwavering faith and dedication to his divine mission. Laden with trials and tribulations, Galahad's journey is a riveting narrative of a knight's spiritual quest. It offers a different flavour of adventure, and of self-discovery and divine enlightenment that goes beyond physical quests and delves into the spiritual realm. And let's not forget the brave Sir Gawain and his face-off with the Green Knight. This tale, brimming with courage and integrity, showcases Gawain's commitment to uphold his knightly oath, even when faced with the stark certainty of death. It is a powerful testament to the principles of honour and truth that form the core core of the chivalric code. His story underlines the complexities involved in balancing personal integrity with societal expectations. These examples only begin to touch upon the depth and breadth of the Arthurian romances. Each story, with its unique characters and distinctive narrative, provides a fresh perspective to the overarching saga. They delve into the, the profound complexities of love, duty, honour and betrayal. They also explore the challenges of courage and self-sacrifice. They transport us to a magical realm of knights and damsels, where love stories unfold amidst daring quests and mystical happenings. The tales of romance and adventure, these Arthurian romances, are indeed the stuff of legends, continuing to bewitch generations with their timeless allure and captivating intrigue. Just like any timeless narrative, the Arthurian romances have blossomed and transformed over the centuries. These transformations often mirror the passage of time and the shift in cultural perspectives. Such narratives, teeming with chivalry, courtly love and epic quests, initially came to life in the rhythmic cadence of verse. The pulsating rhythm of poetry served as the lifeline of these early tales, narrating the bold exploits of knights like Lancelot, Galahad and Gawain to their captive audiences. 
But as the hands of time steadily moved forward, these verses slowly but surely unfolded into prose, offering a more detailed, intricate and richly textured framework for these legendary adventures. As the tales evolved, so too did their language. Emerging from the linguistic nursery of Old French, Anglo-Norman and Occitan, the Arthurian romances embarked on an extensive linguistic journey, crossing the boundaries of various cultures and societies. As they journeyed from the British Isles to the European mainland, these narratives were translated, reinterpreted and reimagined, eventually finding resonance in English, German and Italian texts. This linguistic metamorphosis not only expanded the reach of these stories, introducing them to new audiences, but also led to the emergence of fresh interpretations and nuances. This, in turn, amplified the depth and richness of the Arthurian narrative landscape. Each subsequent retelling and translation of these tales imprinted its unique flavour on the Arthurian narrative tapestry, diversifying and enriching it further. The psychological complexity explored in Chrétien de Troyes' Lancelot, the moral dilemmas presented in the anonymous Sir Gawain and the Green Knight, and many other interpretations have resulted in the Arthurian romances blossoming into a veritable literary garden of diverse narratives. Each tale, each character, each adventure added fresh nuances and layers to the vibrant palette of the Arthurian world. Even amidst these changes, one aspect remained remained a steadfast constant. At the core of these narratives, whether cloaked in verse or dressed in prose, whether whispered in Old French or boldly declared in English, lies the enduring essence of chivalry and courtly love. These timeless themes, akin to a golden thread, interweave through every retelling, binding the tales together, ensuring that the spirit of the Arthurian romances endures, irrespective of the form they adopt. Despite these changes, the essence of chivalry and courtly love has remained a constant throughout. The evolution of the Arthurian romances mirrors the evolution of society itself, reflecting the changing tastes and values of each new generation, while staying true to the integrity and spirit of the original tales. The impact of the Arthurian romances on our contemporary world is more profound than one could ever imagine. But how exactly do these medieval tales of chivalry and courtly love continue to weave their magic into our society and culture today? The Arthurian romances, rich with captivating accounts of noble knights and romantic endeavors, have etched a deep, indelible mark on our present-day culture. These narratives of honor, valor, and love have not only spurred a myriad of literary masterpieces, but have also found their way into the realms of cinema and digital, digital games, asserting their relevance as a cornerstone of modern storytelling. Let's first explore the world of literature. Present-day writers have re-envisioned the Arthurian romances in fresh and strikingly innovative ways. While some have opted to stay faithful to the original narratives, others have creatively reworked them, infusing contemporary themes or shifting them into different eras. Literary works such as T.H. White's The Once and Future King or Marion Zimmer Bradley's The Mists of Avalon stand as solid proof of the everlasting of Arthurian romances, demonstrating their power to echo and adapt to changing societal norms and preferences. The echoes of these medieval tales extend far beyond the written word and into the domain of cinema. The big screen has been graced by numerous adaptations of the Arthurian romances. From grand cinematic masterpieces like John Borman's Excalibur, to animated treasures like Disney's The Sword in the Stone, the tales of King Arthur, Lancelot, the Knights of the Round Table have inspired filmmakers and captivated audiences across generations. Intriguingly, the realm of video games has also embraced the Arthurian romances with enthusiasm. From role-playing sagas like King Arthur the Role-Playing War Game to strategy games like Total War Thrones of Britannia, game creators have intricately woven the Arthurian legends into the essence of their digital worlds. This has empowered players to embark on their unique adventures, stepping into the roles of gallant knights of yore while moving through complex narratives deeply rooted in medieval lore. Nonetheless, the influence of the Arthurian romances extends well beyond their adaptations. 
The principles of chivalry, honor, and courtly love persist in our present-day society. They have shaped our understanding of heroism, molding our perception of what it truly means to be noble, courageous, and righteous. Much like the knights of yesteryears embarked on quests for honor and glory, we too, in our contemporary times, set out on our personal journeys, finding inspiration in the ageless tales of the Arthurian romances. From their roots in Celtic mythology to their modern reincarnations, the Arthurian romances have etched a permanent impact on our cultural landscape. These legendary tales, featuring valiant knights undertaking daring quests for honor and glory, guided by a chivalric code and courtly love, have captivated audiences over the centuries. They have been molded and remolded, traversing geographical frontiers and cultural chasms, integrating into our common consciousness. The Arthurian romances, with their intricate weave of characters and plot lines, have served as a source of inspiration for endless literary works, from Chrétien de Troyes' Lancelot to Mallory's Le Mort d'Arthur. They have masterfully portrayed an era of knights and chivalry, of honor and courtly love, and of glory-seeking quests. Throughout history, these tales have reflected the moral values and ideals of different eras, while simultaneously opening a portal into a world vastly different from our own. The enduring appeal of the Arthurian romances is not only anchored in their ageless themes, but also in their ability to adapt and evolve with time, thereby striking a chord with each subsequent according to Britannica. The Arthurian romances have significantly influenced modern culture, from shaping the ideals of chivalry in the medieval period to inspiring the fantasy genre in literature and film. Adequately reflecting this is the modern adaptation, modern adaptation of these romances into popular movies and television series, such as The Once and Future King and BBC's Merlin, which have brought these age-old tales to a new, technologically savvy audience. These stories also continue to inspire modern authors, recreating these tales in new and imaginative ways, ensuring the continued relevance of these Arthurian legends in contemporary society. As we journey to the end of this examination of the Arthurian romances, it's evident that their enduring appeal lies not just in their timeless themes, but in their incredible ability to resonate with each new generation. Their influence on literature is profound and far-reaching, shaping narratives and characters across a myriad of genres and forms. It's not just the tales themselves that inspire, but also the values they embody. Chivalry, honor, and romantic love. Through each new adaptation, they manage to evolve and remain relevant, striking a chord with audiences of every age and are an enduring testament to the unyielding power of storytelling, a reminder that narratives, no matter their age, can captivate, inspire and persist over time. As we move onward, we carry with us the enduring legacy of these tales, their lessons shaping our perceptions and their themes inspiring our stories. They remind us of the overwhelming strength of narrative, the transcendent power of literature and the universal appeal of a great story. These tales of chivalry, heroism and courtly love continue to inspire us today, reinforcing the timeless power of storytelling and its ability to touch the hearts of every generation. If you've enjoyed this journey through the Arthurian romances, we invite you to become an even more active part of our storytelling community. Remember to hit the like button if you found this video informative and entertaining. Your comments are invaluable to us. They provide us with insights and perspectives that enrich our understanding of these timeless narratives. So, if you have any thoughts or questions about the Arthurian romances, or if you'd like to share your favorite Arthurian tale, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below. We're always eager to delve into new topics, so if there's a particular subject or story you'd like us to explore in a future video, let us know in the comments section. We love hearing from you, and your suggestions often serve as inspiration for our future content. And lastly, if you haven't already done so, do subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you'll be the first to know when we release new videos. From tales of knights and chivalry to explorations of modern adaptations, we're dedicated to bringing you engaging and insightful content about the world's most compelling stories. So join us as we continue our journey through the rich tapestry of human narratives. Your engagement fuels our passion for storytelling, 
and together we can continue to explore the timeless power of stories and their enduring influence on our lives.